Hello, darkness, my old friend. Just pass over you are now traveling to another dimension. Easy to holiday! I told these trolls to lick my butt crack. And then they do a good job licking my butt crack. Bing bong! <laughs> Bing bong! I don't want to go to jail! I don't want to go to jail! <laughs> oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. When the spawn meets This is a certified hood classic. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy CJ, and we back at it like a crack addict with a bad habit. And this is like what now? Part three of this interview with Cyrax's aunt, I believe it is. And uh it's I think it's just starting to get interesting at this point. Thank you for watching and holding on with me. Trust me, once I get my new computer, I'll be good to go. I'll be able to make longer videos. And that shall be coming very soon. <laughs> But if you are new to my channel, I talk about lol cows. Recently, it's just all been Cyrax, just because there's so many updates. He's been going postal. <laughs> going straight bonkers. Like, I cannot, I cannot get ahead of his shenanigans. He has too many, and so I'm playing catch up at this point. But I do also want to make videos on Jared Genesis. World of T-shirts, and there's a few other people. Maybe another Tofia Chew and Papa Chew video. We'll see how it goes. But right now we got another Cyrax video, of course. And uh, my goodness, at first I thought this was fake, then I thought it was real, then I thought it was fake again. But now we know it is most likely real. Death by Design seems like a genuine person. Oh, there's people in the background. My goodness. Sorry, if you hear people, that's family. But Mike, okay, and then um, in this video, guys, please do not go and harass anybody for my sake. If you want to do it on your own accord, obviously do what you got to do. But I'm here to say, don't do it. Don't waste your time. If you're going to do something, make some videos on a person that you don't like. But yes, this interview is by Death by Design. He seems like a really cool guy, and eventually I want to do a live stream with him. Hopefully we can get that going soon. Yeah, I'd like to get more insight on this interview. But man, okay, let's let's get this going, okay? If you don't know Cyrax, go watch my previous videos. But he is a lol cow that is so manic, and he allegedly is a hebophile. Well, I shouldn't say allegedly. He is, he says it himself. And I don't think somebody's making him say this. I really do believe he's into this. Show the clip. I'm not a fucking pedophile. What comes to technical term, bitch? I would be considered a hemophile, which by all technical terms is not a fucking lie. By all technical terms, I would be a hemophile, which is not a crime, it's not illegal. And so, so do not feel bad for this guy in any way. He has done harm and mental damage to so many people, his family, the people around him. Trust me, do not feel bad for him. This is what his aunt has to say about him. My dog is going crazy. <laughs> understand the difference between fame and infamy though. You know, being infamous. That, that's so funny. I, I think this is where we stopped off. It's close by. But Cyrax just doesn't know the difference between fame and infamy. We've said this on this channel plenty of times. It's just the fact. Although Not famous. Also that he and it's funny. You can change from being infamous to famous. But once you cross that line, that certain line of minors, hey, yo. you can't become famous again. Hell no. God, bro. There's lines you cannot cross. Like with Logan Paul, he filmed the guy in the suicide forest. He's back on top of YouTube in the social media game again. He has his own prime drink. You can come back. 
and restore your name. But Cyrax can't. Hell no. But sorry, last time I interrupted. Well, I'll interrupt, but not as much. These music contracts. He thinks that he has the biggest, these, these, these. Today, Junior. It's things that people are pulling on him because they can get away with it. And it's funny. <laughs> and he actually thinks they're real contracts. And, and, and Marty is one of them. But it's because, you know, the funny thing is because he's always trying to get a what ump and it's been since the Marty thing, he's always trying to get any kind of like leverage to come back and be like, you know what, I got a, I got something that I'm successful in and it's ultimately been his downfall. Like, it almost sounded like she was giving Marty props. And Marty is one of <laughs> I thought she would have been shitting on Marty, to be honest with you. I could be wrong. It's a fucking strong it's thing. Just, it's, it's so Pride funny a... because... <clears throat> It was it was Marty using a false name and all this to make this contract, and he was so excited about the, and he still believes the contract is real. Yeah, I remember the Bender Boys, and it sounds like she's almost blushing over Marty right now. What the? What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? <laughs> what's goody? What's goody? What's goody? Oh my! That's when he had the leather jacket on. And he had this like Fonzie, half Fonzie, half New Yorker swag. I'll show you the clip. Shout out to my motherfucking brothers. <laughs> Over at Vendor Boys Records. Shout out to the big homie CPN. Shout out to play Ninja. I figured I'd just come in, kick it with y'all. Figured since I'm making it big time, <laughs> may as well rock the swagger to go with it, boys. <laughs> oh, that is one of my favorite favorite moments in the rags universe he was just so full of himself did you see that video i guess no i look i don't i don't go looking for his stuff anymore yeah. i i pulled away from it because my personal health and my I personal know. mental state i don't need involved in him bro what are you talking about man see i, I fell into i fell into this a few way why are you here hmm really makes you think you're doing an interview. Oh my god, bro. Oh, <laughs> what? You don't want to be involved in his life while you're doing. Guys, uh, uh. tell me down below. Am I missing something? Was she forced into doing this? Like, did Cyrax force her hand into doing this interview? Was he talking shit about her? And she had to defend herself in some sort of way? Well, I'm, I'm newer to being around because it actually happened I just after the fight. Never, and like, it's it was crazy. I've never, I've never considered him my brother. He is my nephew. Yeah, And yeah, the 100%. genes that he comes from yeah. are not good genes. Well, yeah. no shit. What's with, okay, because I was, okay. Okay, so are they blood related? Or are they just like family friends of family friends of whatever? What What's happening here? How can you tell him he has shitty genes when you have the same genes as, <laughs> wait, what? I was actually, I was looking up Connie. I was trying to find Connie's yearbook. You know, yeah, looking don't, in. don't look up Connie. Leave Connie out of it, please. Connie is dead. Just leave Connie completely out of it. Connie had nothing to do with his life other than right. him coming into this world. All right, out of respect, I understand. What does that even mean, bro? Like, that is very suspicious. I was, I was looking Connie up, has... I was looking up her picture. Let her speak. I want to hear what she has to say, but this is getting juicy. Hey, yo! You gonna know, try to find her, but I guess, no, yeah. No, please don't. All right. Please, 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 please don't. She died in a house fire. It was not pretty. Yeah, I know. It, I know. Um, Just, yeah. As, as far as Connie and the kids go... Explain. They just kind of have nothing, like, that, that whole side of, like... Explain. Did she have drug problems? Or was she born something like Cyrax was born? I want to know. I'm saying they're necessarily bad people or whatever, but they just kind of... They have nothing to Chance, do with. They right, want nothing Chance to do has, with. Chance has a biological full brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shit, we it don't, begins with a B. Um, what doesn't it? Or nope, 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 nope. Not going there. We got a there. nickname, buddy. The nickname, buddy, but that's not his real name. No, but... we ain't going there. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. He, is that the guy with AIDS? Didn't he die of AIDS of some sort? He is so disgusted <laughs> by everything that he has no contact with our family. Yeah. And oh. I don't blame him. I'm, I'm to the same point. I oh, don't want to did he stop? Did he? Was he like cool? You guys up until a point, and then like once this shit happened, it's like I gotta wash my hands, kind of thing. Like, nope. 
Oh, nope. Geez. Nope. Geez. Um, I, I had contact with Buddy up until he was five or six when the family adopted him. Once yeah. the family adopted him, what family? they opted no contact. Right, right. And so, um, I guess everything that Probably the was uh, adopted for him, I mean, family, the parents, and geez. Right, speak? my brother, yeah. um, duh, makes my skin crawl. Um, Old Rupal, heinous, <laughs> heinous, heinous. <laughs> Nope. Uh, guys, sorry. They're cutting each other off. But if you don't know who Rupal is, that is Cyrax's biological father. I'm pretty sure. Or at least a father figure. I'm pretty sure it's, her, it's his biological father. I'm sure it is. And, ooh, he has a disgusting past. He went to jail for raping, I'm going to say a minor. I'm pretty sure she was underage. In a field, not a field, like uh, a train track. You know where a train would used to be? And so they take out the tracks and they have like a, it's a pathway. It sounded something like that. He went and raped this girl on a pathway somewhere. You what? And he went to jail. Good. And it's sounding like Cyrax got a lot of his genes in him. Hey, yo. I'll show you some of the reports right here. It gets deep in the rags verse. Sheesh. His name, his name is Marks. Rupal Marks. Are yeah, I know. Rupal Marks, I know. Are you Peely? Are you? Uh, I have a thing when I spell his name. Are you P-P-P-P? -P -P -P? Too many P's in there. Who cares? Let's go. R-U-P-E-L-E-M-A-R-X. S-M-I-P-H. Yep. Why are we talking? Yeah, I was trying to find him, too. <laughs> I was trying to get yearbook pictures, but yeah. I cannot stand him. Oh my! You won't find your book. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan. Of, I'm not a fan of his either, considering his case. And I don't know. Like again, more background on you than I. There's hold on. so much about this boy. Yeah. That that yeah. nobody nobody will know because it's not in the records. He used to be a carny. Okay. Oh, yeah. That when makes sense. And you know what? If he was born 20 years later, he'd be a juggler. I'm just joking. <laughs> he worked at carnivals. And he was constantly on the road with these carnies. And he would come in, and my that makes father... Sense. Ooh, another one that makes my skin crawl. Um, would let him come in and do laundry and whatnot, and things would come up. Ooh. Uh, come on, what are you doing? I'm confused. Uh, I don't even... I can't... Uh, oh. Mm. Really? Come mm. on. Okay, this does seem like a bit of an act. It, I don't think I know it's not, but like, let's get my laptop's gonna explode. <laughs> I, um, the male line in my family no, is so freaking disgusting. It's not yeah, funny. I don't. And the only one who like Bill, my brother Bill William. Yeah. And I swear to God, yeah. if anyone says anything else bad about my brother, I'm gonna. No one, I don't, no one, honestly, as far as I've ever heard, that well, the only time they ever said anything was on stream to Am Chance up, but. Most people are fans, honestly, of him because he protected your mom from fans. And you know. my brother, my brother, um, caught AIDS in high school yeah. from a female. Yeah. From a female. Are you sure about that? From a female. You sure about that? That's why. Because my aunt. Why does it matter if it was, if he was gay or not? To be honest, right? What's what's the deal? He's dead. Religion bashed him. Okay, um, because my brother was gay. I see. So we. W and because of religious bashing, he decided that he would try to date. So he didn't get it from a girl. He got it from a, a guy. Come on. Why would you lie about it then? I'm, co I'm confused. A female and ended up with AIDS from said female. If that, what a quidinky dink. Him being gay. But then, not getting AIDS from another guy, but from a girl? Huh? Like, what are the odds? So, like, when people say, oh, it's the gay plague, it's the gay plague. No, I, I don't, I, I, yeah, I, okay. That's, I'm a very that's like 1990 thinking. 
That's the from like the 1990s. For LGBTQ, like, yeah, I've never. Yes, yes. Shout outs to my gays, my the lesbians, everybody out there. Shout outs to all y'all. Seriously. Thought like that. I don't know. Like, that was an 80s baby, so, you know, like, we're, we, we think a little more. Uh, 90s. Forward, not, 90s like, baby. Um, 96. My, my, brother was, like my brother was like the ultimate badass brother, like, ever. <laughs> um, he did female impersonations, and you couldn't tell. You could not tell that he was not a girl. You, you couldn't tell. What are you fucking gay? Okay. I mean, he was he um he uh, he impersonated um what's her name um she just passed away, um famous that famous singer um. I, I'm sorry, I do not care. Yeah, um he impersonated her or um it was it was one of the judges. Let's and you, go. Let's go. The whole the whole nine yards you couldn't tell. You can just okay sorry guys we will finish this up in a little bit but you can tell. How disgusted this woman is in her family, in the genes she has herself. All of the men in that family, in Cyrax's disgusting, demented family tree, it seems like all, almost every man, almost every man in that tree have been rotten apples. Disgusting human beings. Cyrax being a hebophile. His father raping a woman. A minor like come on this it that tells you something that there is something wrong with this this family and something needs to be done with Cyrax before something bad happens before Cyrax actually gets the balls to do something I really hope he learns or gets put into a strict home I don't think he's gonna learn he needs to be put into a very strict home I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say, honest to God. But guys, this was kind of a boring video. I'm sorry. We have to go through this, though. But part four, hopefully, will get a bit better. <laughs> I thought this was going to be the juicy video, but I don't know. Maybe y'all will like it. But guys, I'm a dip. Make sure you like, subscribe, and do all those shenanigans. And peace out.